so it's been a while since I've done a haul video, so I decided to go ahead and do one. This is just a really small haul, nothing special. Um, it's just some things that I've been picking up randomly. Um, as you guys know, I had to suddenly move, and I've been just really busy, and ugh, it's just been crazy. But I wanted to go ahead and do this haul for you guys because you guys like my hauls, so I wanted to definitely get one out there for you. It's not that huge of a haul. Um, it's just a few beauty items that I picked up recently, and I want to share with you guys. Um, one of the items, I guess I'll start here, but one of the items that I picked up was the Mineralized Skin Finished from MAC, and I picked up the color Deep Dark, you guys probably can't see that, but it's in Deep Dark, and it just looks like this, really kind of pretty. The camera kind of does it no justice. It's kind of like, it's this brown color, but it has like some shimmer, not shimmer, but like some golden undertones to it, but it's really pretty, and I used it today on my face, and I used it to kind of just set my foundation and everything like that. And I've really been using this. I've even been using this alone as a powder. And it's done really, really well. So I picked this up. And um, I picked it up because I was um, looking for a setting powder. As you guys know, my I used the Black Radiance powder. But my Black Radiance powder broke. And I decided to go ahead and why not just give this one a try. So I went ahead and picked that up. Another item I picked up from MAC also was this blush, and I'll open it actually. Um, it's a blush that I use to contour, and I'm pretty sure you guys can probably imagine. It is MAC's Blunt Blush. And I got the pan refill size because when you go to MAC, they have the pan refills and then they have the actual like packaging. Um, it's the same product, same amount of, uh, same amount of product, but it's in a pan and it's like, Four or five bucks cheaper so I always get the pan refills whenever I get eyeshadows or anything from them because it's just way cheaper than paying twenty dollars for packaging you know so I got the pan refill and this is blunt and I used it to contour today and I've really been enjoying it it really does look really nice it's a nice brown for my skin tone and I've really been enjoying that I know a lot of people say they don't actually like blunt to contour they actually like to use um, format or something and I want to try out for it also because it's a little deeper of a brown and it's just brown but this one has been doing me really good and that's max blunt um let's see I went to Target and I picked up this mascara from Sonia Kashuk and I don't own anything from her but I decided to go ahead and pick this up because for one it was on clearance but it's a mascara and I'm sorry if it's blinding you guys but it's really really pretty packaging it's like silver metallic-y and it's really pretty and on one end it has like a comb for you to like kind of comb out your eyelashes and then on the other end is just the mascara and the wand just looks like that okay and it's in black and I've been enjoying this one a lot I use it on my bottom lashes because you guys know I wear falsies so I use it on my bottom lashes and then I do use it to kind of blend and I've really been enjoying this one lately I really don't use the comb that often but I do love the mascara it was on clearance for like four dollars so yeah and this is the Sonia Kashuk Lashify mascara so if you are looking for it you know what to look for I picked up this bronzer from hard candy which is more like um, a very mellow highlight for me but it's this bronzer right here it's actually pretty similar to my skin finish however the hard candy one had a lot more of a glow to it of a highlight to it than the mineralized skin finish so i can't use this as a setting powder although it is pretty similar but i do use it for like um highlighting the my cheekbones and things like that and then sometimes occasionally depending i'll use this as a setting powder and i got this in 132 heat wave and I got this from Walmart. So I also picked up three bl ugh, three brushes, and they're dirty because I just used them. But I picked up three brushes, and these three right here. I picked up this one from. They're all from Elf, and this one is the Angle Contour Brush, and it just looks like that. And again, I'm sorry, it's dirty, but I use this to kind of get under my eye. This is very similar to the Precision Brushes by Sedona Lace. It's super similar. And it's like a little finger under your eye and it's super amazing and it definitely blends it out and I've been loving that. 
I picked up the e.l.f. blending brush. Um, I had some of their older blending brushes, and I'm guessing they're changing their brush style, but um, this brush is very more, very much smaller and more dense. So I use it like in my crease, like today. And then I also picked up this angled eyeliner brush, which is just to apply eyeliner with, and I use that today also. So I picked up these three brushes, and I've really actually been loving those brushes. I also, from e.l.f., I picked up a cream eyeliner in black, and let me tell you, this stuff is so, first of all, it was $3, and it's super, super pigmented. I have the, let's see, where is it? may not even be in here, but I have the um, gel eyeliner from Femme Couture or something. I'm sorry, my camera decided it was cool to shut off. But anyway, like I was saying, I have the e.l.f. one, and I also have this one from Femme Couture, which was like 10 or $12. And let me tell you, I've had this Femme Couture one, and it is so, like, I've used it, but it's, like, it's pigmented, it's cool, it's whatever. But this one from e.l.f. is so much more creamier. It goes on so much smoother. It lasts a lot longer. I really, really, really have been enjoying this. So if you can get your chance to get your hands on that e.l.f. liner, I highly suggest getting that um let's see I also picked up this product now let me tell you I picked this product up for my son because when we were in Vegas the weather was so dry my skin on uh, my skin my son's lips were chapping really bad so I went and picked up this it's the baby kisses from Boro or I don't even know how to say that but it's the baby kisses and it's in the baby aisle and it's for their lips and cheeks and I picked this up because it is really, really, really an amazing product. And it has with it has Peruvian uh, balsam for healthy skin. And it also relieves and moisturizes chapped lips and cheeks. So you know how babies get like chapped cheeks. So they're really cool. And um, it's really, really, really a great product. And I picked one up for him and I've been using it on him. And it has just really made his lips, you know, it made it really help. It made his cheeks really smooth. And he's one. He's not a baby baby anymore, but he's still a baby. And um, it really helped him out. And um, so if you're a mom and you're looking for something for your kid who has, like, really chapped um, cheeks or lips because of the cold, harsh weather, Baby Kisses is definitely a good product for that. And also, I accidentally used it on myself <laughs> when I was out because I didn't have any chapstick on me. So I used it. It's amazing for your lips. Like... I have purchased everything. I've purchased lip butters. I've purchased baby kisses, baby lips, or EOS balm. This stuff works. This stuff is bomb.com. So if you can get your hands on the baby kisses, it's in the baby aisle with like the baby lotions and shampoos and stuff. And it's only $2. And it is amazing product. It is for babies and for adults. It's amazing. It makes your lips so smooth. It keeps them smooth. And I've really, really been enjoying this. So I picked one up for myself. So if you have a chance to grab this, I definitely suggest it for yourself or for your baby. Okay, so um, I picked up three lipsticks. And these are the last things I'm going to talk about. I just picked up three lipsticks. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen them. And one of them is a dupe for Max Up The Amp. And I'll show you. Um, the one that I'm talking about is CoverGirl. It's from the CoverGirl Queen Collection. And it's in the color 330 Divine. And it just looks like this. It's a really pretty purple. And um, I actually wore this in one of the pictures on Instagram. But it's a pretty purple. And it just looks like that. If you guys can see. Really, really pretty purple. And then I have up the amp. And I'm going to show you guys. Like I have up the amp. And mine's melted. But I have up the amp. And I'm going to show you guys like. See that? It's like the same color camera's gonna be the death of me but anyway they are the exact same color if you guys can tell they're pretty much the same i will say up the amp the only thing about up the amp is it's it doesn't have a pink tint to it but the divine kind of does but they're pretty darn similar and the camera's not doing it any justice but i have swatches on instagram if you like to see what they look like with flash and in natural light I also picked up two other lipsticks. I picked up one from Rimmel, and this is like my first Rimmel lipstick, I think. But the packaging is super cute. It's from the Kate Moss collection, and it has like Kate with a heart on it. Super cute. And this is in 101, and it's really pretty, and it's actually dirty. And when I mean dirty, I mean it has like lip liner 
on it but it's really pretty it looks like that it's a pretty pink um some people were saying this was a dupe for a snob but in my opinion it isn't and i'm sorry but snob is my favorite but this is what it looks like it's still really really pretty i can kind of see why people say it looks like snob but i have snob somewhere what is this this is up the amp i have snob here's yeah here's snob and i'm actually wearing snob today and this is snob so next to it snob is actually not the same so for those of you saying that it was a dupe you're wrong <laughs> but that's what that one looks like and then i also have uh, nyx's thalia which people were also saying oh no this isn't thalia this is whipped caviar and this is another one that people were saying was a dupe for snob and again it's not it's a pretty pretty pink but it's not a dupe for snob see a completely different color snob is in the middle kate 101 and whipped caviar by nyx so they're all pretty shades of pink but it's just not a dupe for snob but i did pick these up because they were pretty so i wanted them and yeah so that pretty much concludes this i think was there anything i left out no nothing okay so that pretty much concludes this haul i hope you guys really like that because you guys like my hauls and if you want to see more hauls let me know if you want to see more hauls that aren't beauty related like clothing or like mommy hauls like when i go shopping for my son or something definitely like let me know down below because i'd like to do some of those for you guys but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to rate thumb me up comment and subscribe and as always i'll see you beautiful people in the next video bye